Yeah, so when you think about lung cancer, you often immediately think, oh, it's associated with smoking. But there are actually 15% of lung cancer cases that occur in never smokers. We got looking at the different risk factors and we found that 99% of people actually live in places with high air pollution levels that exceed the WHO guidelines. So we thought perhaps it was quite important that we started to look at air pollution in the context of lung cancer and never smokers. Some risk factors such as air pollution might not be acting as a, as a mutagen but are acting via this alternative um, mechanism. And what we found was actually there's an inflammatory axis driven by um, pollution, which is acting on nascent uh, mutant clones within histologically normal tissue. So we think these mutations just accumulate as you age, but then having the mutation is necessary, but not sufficient for causing a tumor. And it's only when you get the promotion of and the challenge of that particulate matter that then these cells can begin their journey to forming a cancer. There is a possibility that this model could be applied to other cancer types as well. Just linking back to our finding from the epidemiology work, we see that PM2.5 is not only associated with lung cancer, but also other cancer types. So there is a possibility, but it's work for the future.